in this video we're going to be detailing how you can make a very good amount of money in GTA Online in about four hours you know I feel like that's an average time for a gamer on Grand Theft Auto Online if they are actually into the game so like I said it took me about four hours to do all the things that we're going to be doing in this video and also another disclaimer is that you will have to have the businesses to you know access the form of grind that we're going to be doing today so let's go ahead and get right into it and i hope you all enjoy so let's do it so i'm going to call mutt right now this is how we're going to start off i start off by checking my business and we're going to call mutt and see what we need to do for our asset hello, lab. Hello. so it's full so that means it's full we have an asset lab ready to go so that's one thing you want to do when you first get in here. Call Mutt. Make sure that you have your acid lab either filling up with supplies or already filled. Okay, the next thing we're going to do fine. is we're going to take care of some tow truck stuff in the new tow truck business. This is going to net us like a good amount of money for the salvage cars. And we also do have a robbery ready to go that we are going to do. And we are going to sell that car. And that is going to get us even more money. But what like I said, what I'm going to start off with, so I'm going to launch a couple tow trucks. We're going to do two of those because, you know, you can only do two because you have two lifts. As you can see, we have our two cars here on the racks ready to be salvaged. Now going to transition into checking our nightclub. And we're going to be mixing this in, you know while we're doing our grind we're going to be coming back here every couple times because we want to keep our popularity filled up oh and this thing is also at two hundred and forty thousand dollars yeah i didn't know that so we're going to go ahead and throw this guy out of the club he's right here go and throw him out of the club for an easy popularity boost and we're actually going to take that two hundred and fifty thousand dollars or two hundred forty thousand dollars right now as i was flying through the city I ended up encountering this on the map. We're gonna do this payphone hit, and this is gonna give us an additional $85,000. So we're gonna go ahead and do this payphone hit and make a good, almost a hundred grand just for doing this mission. So we're gonna go ahead and do it and make the money. We're just about done with this mission. You're gonna see me get the $85,000. And then we're going to transition into the next activity to make even more money. So as you can see right there, $85,000 with the assassination bonus. You get $15,000 plus a $70,000 bonus payment if you do the assassination bonus. That's another $85,000. We're in the auto shop. We're going to end up selling one of these cars. I thought I had two in here, but I only have one. So we're still going to sell it. And we're going to make some money. So let's go ahead and do the modifications and sell it. And then you'll see how much money I get from that afterwards. So as you see, watch a little cutscene. It's us delivering the car to the customer. That's the way they wanted to customize. So I did it. As you can see right there, it says we made 60 grand. But our service costs, we paid 35000 up front. So essentially, we made $25,000 from this sale here. So. We are now in the submarine. We are going to do the Cal Preco heist. Fortunately for me, I already have one set up and ready to go. So we're going to do that and see how much money we get from that. We just finished our Cal Preco heist. Let's see how much we get from it. We did have the pink diamond as primary loot. We had some cocaine, some weed, and some cash as secondary loot. So let's see how much we get. This is not on a hard mode, I, I don't believe, by the way. So yeah, we made $1.5 million. And we originally had about 387000 in the bag because while we were doing this stuff, our one of our cars from the salvage yard scrapped for thirty-seven grand. So we make $1,603,213. I forgot to mention that it says here my F620 had also been salvaged. I didn't get a notification for it, but as you can see right here, it says we made $35,000 from that as well. So 
we made 37,000 from the Penumbra and 35,000 from the F620. So in total, we made $72,000. We're here at G's Cash, it was nearby. We're gonna go in and collect it, see how much we can get from it. So we get an additional $16,411. That's pretty good. Before we get into the next big money-making opportunity, we're gonna go ahead and do some more scrapyard cars and uh let's get right into it we got our two scrap yard cars or salvage yard wherever you want to call it chop shop we got the two cars next activity we're going to be getting into to make a lot of money is the dr dre contract that you can do at the agency now if this will take about an hour and 40 minutes to two hours to complete depending on how fast you can complete these missions and it will net you one million straight dollars plus you'll make money as you do the uh, finales for each of the for each of the uh, segments of the contract so we're definitely going to take advantage of this make us a million dollars probably a little over a million and uh let's make that money what i did forget to point out in the last clip when i was talking about the Dr. Dre contract is that for each of the setups for the Dr. Dre contract, there's two and then there's a finale. You do get about $10,000 for each one of those setups before the finale. So there's three different uh, contracts to do before you get to the two main ones. So that's going to be $20,000 times three. That's about $60,000 right there. Plus the finale, you'll make around, you know, thirty or 40000 from those finales. And then the last two missions, you'll probably get an additional maybe twenty to 30000 from those two there as well. So in total, you're going to be making, you know, almost $1.2 million from the Dr. Dre contract. And that's some pretty good money just for doing this, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to point that out. And we'll continue to uh, do our stuff. And when we finish, we'll show you how much money we made in total, okay? Oh, and armor and snacks and all that because we need to fill up for this next mission we're going to do and while we were here we ended up uh getting our scrapyard came through as you can see there it says the fuselage has been savaged and the vigoro has been salvaged so we ended up making seventy two thousand dollars from that so we're just about done with the dr dre contract the vip contract and we're about to make our money from this. I decided to put this clip in just to show you that, you know, I finished it and we're, we're making the money from it. So right there, boom, $1 million. And remember, we did make some money from those missions. We made about $94,000 from all of those missions. As you can see, after finishing the Dr. Dre contract and Kyle Perico and some of the other activities we did, the safe has accumulated quite a bit. It accumulated about $145,000, so that's pretty good, in my opinion. We're going to continue to stay on top of our popularity. We're going to toss this guy out of the club because he uh, needs to get up out of here. Get up out of here. And this is going to net us, I, I believe, an additional $10,000. We're transitioning to the next activity, which is going to be this super dollar deal right here. We've already done the setups. This, uh, I actually yeah, did the setups previously. And we got this ready to go. So we're going to do it, make the money from that. We just finished the auto shop contract. As you can see right there, we made $166,500. I'm going to be selling product, but we're going to be selling them in public lobby. So I'm going to transition over to a public lobby. And we want one with a lot of players in it too, so. We're going to a public session right now. Yeah, you know, the reason my character's mouth wasn't moving at that point is because I uh, turned on my 
consoles mute so you all can still hear me in this video talking but no one else in these lobbies or anyone else will hear me talking so you know i don't want to be talking to these people anyway you know what i mean so all right so we just arrived we're gonna check to see how many people are in this lobby right now 16 i don't feel like that's enough people so we're gonna find a new lobby yeah because we want to make some real money we're gonna need at least we're gonna need over we're gonna need 25 people at least in the lobby to make the full amount of money that we want to make So we just loaded in. Let's see what this lobby's looking like right here. Okay, yeah, this is definitely one. And we are CEO still, so we're uh, good to do our next activity. I'm going to check out the map to see what's going on first. I see some people are dying. Looks like they're battling over somewhere. I don't know exactly where. We've got us some Mark IIs, some Mark II here. That's actually kind of worrying because our acid lab, this is the next thing we're going to be getting into. Our acid lab is going to spawn around this area. We've got a rogue oppressor over there. Yeah. So it looks like people are doing their own thing for the most part. We're going to call our acid lab out now.
those who saw on that last clip, I did end up making $527,740. We went ahead and tallied that up. And the reason why I wanted to put that clip in was to show you all, you know, you can sell in public lobbies. You just have to be smart. You know what I mean? That's all you, that's all it is. You just gotta be smart. Stay on the map, stay looking at the map, make sure, um, make sure that you are aware of what is around you at all times. And also the, I think the, the biggest advice I could give you is always be ready for a fight. Never think you got away. Never think you're, you, you're chilling, you know, like always be ready for confrontation. Always. Because that, if you let your guard down for just a second in this game, in a public lobby, that's when they kill you. That's when they kill you. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to transition over to selling our nightclub. And this right here is going to be the biggest money maker of today, most likely, especially in this in this lobby. We're definitely going to make lots of money here. But like I said, always be ready to fight. Always be aware of your surroundings. Stay looking at that map and just be attentive to what is going on around you. That's all I can really tell you. And those are the best tips I can give you. Oh, another thing, use our money tech card. If you're not using an Amani Tech car in a public lobby, I don't know what you're doing, man. In the same public lobby, we're going to, uh... Oh, looks like we got somebody that needs to be thrown out. So let's go ahead and throw them out real quick before we sell this nightclub. That's going to net us an additional $10,000 as well. Yeah, that literally just popped up right when I started to try to record for uh, this nightclub sale. So let's toss this guy out. That gets us an additional $10,000. Good money. Good money. Now we're going to go over to our computer. And we're going to begin this sale. One thing I like to do is I like to look at the map. See what's going on. There was a guy nearby, but it looks like he's driving away now. And it doesn't look like there's really anyone near us. There's a helicopter there. But it looks like he's doing his own thing. He's not really like griefing anybody or looking for anybody. So I think we're okay. We're okay to start this sale. Oh, and in that last clip with the acid lab, I didn't realize that I was muted. So, and I was talking that whole time, but it's okay. I'm still going to add it into the video to, you know, let's show you all that it's not impossible to sell in a public lobby. And now if you see here, my South American imports and pharmaceutical cargo shipments and sporting goods are not filled up, but pretty much everything else is. And we're still at $1.3 million. That's how I usually do it. I usually saw like 1.1, 1 .1, but I guess, you know, we did some more things and, uh, Great. I'm gonna help you. it helped us, uh, accumulate a little more money in the nightclub warehouse. All right, so we have 10 minutes to sell this one. We got 10 minutes to go four miles. So. Now, if you see down there on the bottom right, we do have a global signal timer. Right now, we're seen on the map, but our product isn't seen on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Securo Serve, CO abilities, and right when I hit zero, I'm going to go for it right now. Bad news. Some local gangsters got word of this drop off, and they want a piece. Try not to get hijacked, okay? So yes, what Tony pretty much is telling us right there is that we're going to have NPCs trying to attack us, which is fine, you know what I mean? Because we have a missile launcher on this, so it's okay. See that? NPCs are very popular for this thing. Now we do have some cars in front of us that are being weird, it's okay. So the NPCs are at that point to where I can't aim at them. That's the only bad thing about the missile launcher. Did I get him? Yeah, I did. Okay, we may start turning. It's okay though. It's okay. We could uh, hit a U right here.
Make sure to not fly off the side. I almost did right there. Now we got about a minute left and two miles to go, so we're just gonna try to haul it as fast as we can. Like these NPCs aren't really a problem. So yeah, I shot the driver right there. He's down, so we won't have to worry about that NPC pretty much any longer. And now one thing I like right now is that we're heading out towards the desert. There's not really too many players out there. For the most part, usually everybody sticks to the city. So, like, usually when you come out to the, when you're going out towards the desert and you're selling something, it's kind of like, you can kind of relax a little bit. You still got to watch the map and be attentive and all that, but I can definitely tell you that for the most part, you're, you're going to be better off than when you're, like, in the city trying to sell something, you know what I mean? We're gonna go ahead and kill these guys because they're annoying. You see, they can't even can't even handle the pressure. <laughs> and we still got about a mile and a half to go, essentially, mile 30, mile 20, and we only have 20 seconds left. But like I said, we are out going out towards the desert. There's really no one out here. There's like two other players out here. You know, and this guy coming up right here. It looks like he's either looking at the pause menu or he's looking at the map or something. I don't know what he's doing, but it's definitely not something we got to worry about. And like I said, we are armed with a missile launcher. And this thing has infinite ammo, I think. I'm pretty sure it has infinite ammo. And I, you can take out jets with this thing. The other day I was selling in my nightclub on uh, last gen on PS4 GTA. And yeah. I uh, blew up a Raiju. <laughs> he, he really tried. He really tried to come through with the Raiju, and he got clipped by me. You know, and then the homie who I was with, my buddy, he ended up clipping the uh, the kill. <laughs> like, dude, really thought he was gonna do something, man. I just lit him up. Just kind of... But anyways, yeah. So this is the drop off. Boom. We still have a bunch of players in here all good sold successfully so let's see how much money we get from this we get one million eight hundred and sixty eight thousand five hundred and fifty dollars one million eight hundred sixty eight thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. I get not to worry about being caught with that stuff in the club and sent to the can it's a win for both of us all right so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my spawn location because we're going to, you know what, I thought I was going to end off the video here, but we have one more activity that we want to do. One more activity we want to do. So we'll, we'll get into that in the next clip. We're here at the salvage yard, scrap yard, chop shop, whatever you want to call it. The first thing we're going to do is we have $216,000 in the safe. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab that What's money. Up? The next thing we're going to do is we have a robbery already ready to go. We have the gangbanger robbery ready to go. And it's worth $260,000. We are going to do that. So I'm going to start this robbery, steal the car, and then sell the car. And then we'll get the money. So. We're just about done with the gangbanger robbery and now there's going to be some little uh like side objectives that you can do in the mission to gain additional income as you can see here there's no cop lives lost jailbreak in three minutes king time at 75 percent health and all challenges completed we made a total of 50 grand fifty thousand dollars from that So now that we have the car, we can go ahead and sell it. Oh, we also got an additional $50,000 as well from those awards right there. So I made an additional $50,000 from those awards. Extra mile and perfect run. So we're going to go ahead and sell this car for $260,000. Let's do it.
Yeah, we're, we're literally just about done with the sale. We're pretty much at the location where we're going to drop it off. Just that easily. That's two hundred and sixty thousand dollars in our pocket. Right there. We are now going to go over all of the money we made today on GTA Online. When we first started this video, we were at our nightclub. We picked up the safe. It had two hundred and forty thousand dollars in it, so we took that. Then we found a payphone hit in free roam and did that, and that made us $85,000. We sold a car from our auto shop, and that made us $25,000. We made $60,000 in total, but we ended up putting $35,000 from our own pocket up front, so I'm only counting the money we earned from that, so we earned $25,000 from that. Then we made... $37,000 and $35,000 to make a total of $72,000 from the cars that we salvaged from the tow truck service. We robbed Rubio for $1,603,213. Then we found G's cash and we made an additional $16,411. We then did two more salvage tow truck service cars and we made another $72,000 from that. We did the VIP contract, Dr. Dre contract, at the agency, and that made us $1,094,000. Then we made $10,000 additionally by throwing out a guy in our nightclub after we finished the Dr. Dre contract. We then did the super dollar deal, the super dollar deal with KDJ and Sasanta at the auto shop, and that made us $166,500. Then we transitioned over to the public lobby and we made $527,740 from selling our acid in a public lobby. We went to our nightclub and we made an additional $10,000 by throwing out another customer that was, you know, not complying with, you know, the nightclub rules and stuff. And then we sold our nightclub for $1,868,550 in a public lobby and after that we went over and we did the gangbanger robbery and for the gangbanger robbery we ended up making some extra money with the those side objectives that you can do for it so we made fifty thousand dollars twice from that so that's an additional one hundred thousand dollars just from the side objectives uh and the the awards essentially and then we actually sold the car from the gangbanger robbery for $260,000. And I forgot to mention that when we first got to the salvage yard, we picked up the safe for $216,000. And now here's some money that I didn't add up that uh, did get, that I didn't count, but I'm counting it right now. So we did get ten thousand dollars in the beginning when we went to our nightclub for the first time i forgot to add that ten thousand dollars in and then we also made an additional twenty five thousand dollars because i don't know if i recorded that part but we ended up finding a bank van in free room and we ended up stealing the money from the bank van and we got twenty five thousand dollars so in total i made six million four hundred one thousand four hundred fourteen dollars in about four hours of gameplay time that i feel is pretty good you know it would have been a little bit less if we did not have the nightclub but since we did we were able to come up with a good profit and if i actually had a couple buddies with with me while i was playing today we would have made possibly 10 million dollars or maybe like eight to ten million dollars today depends on how it would have went but uh we would have made pretty much 10 million dollars if i would have had some buddies to help me make some sales but other than that i hope you all enjoyed my video of how i'd be making money in gta online 
and how I do my public lobby sales. They're both in there, the Acid Lab and the Nightclub. Uh, yeah, this is Gamer Zero signing out, I guess, you know. Let me know what y'all think about my methods of making money, how I do my grind. And there's plenty of other ways to make money in this game, but this is generally what I usually do if I'm really trying to get money. And yeah, y'all have a good day. Y'all have a good night or good evening. Wherever y'all at, have a good one. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and like this video. So this is Gamer Zero signing out, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace out and deuces.